Alright, let's try this Tatyova setup again. A much better hand than my last game. I was just up against uh, the Helm Smasher. And I'm not sure if I fancy my chances anymore against Maelstrom Wanderer, but you know, what we basically want to be doing here is playing out as many lands as quickly as possible. Getting out Tatyova because every time we play a land, or every time a land enters uh, with Tatyova, we gain a life and draw a card. So even after we've played Tatyova, we get the uh, incremental advantage of playing more lands. Our opponent's going to play a tap land, which is fine by me. We are going to get out Skura Tribe Elder. And we're going to pass the turn there. I have to always make sure not to F6 through my turn uh, when Skura Tribe Elder's out, because your opponent might catch you sleeping on that one, and you won't be able to react to the lightning bolt or whatever it is that they they target it with okay saw ring so maelstrom wanderer is ramping quickly and into cultivate maybe nature's law okay this could see uh, uh, another ramp spell for two ah skura tribe elder so we're just going to respond to the skura tribe elder We'll get ourselves an island and probably go for if we draw into another land we'll play Azusa next turn and get two lands on the on the battlefield and failing that hmm that changes things what we're going to do here then is go for Nissa vital force very underrated commander uh, not commander very underrated planeswalker uh, if she survives one turn or isn't damaged for one turn, you can get her limit break, as I call them, uh, her ultimate, off the turn after she's come out, and that gives you incremental card advantage for the rest of the game, which is what we're going to try and pull off now, because once we untap that forest with Nyssa, she will be protecting herself from the Sakura Tribe Elder, and Sakura won't be able to get through. And let's try that again. There we go. Modo doing its usual. Not doing as it's told. So we'll just sit back on that 5 5 forest there. Not the end of the world if our opponent destroys it. And they may well play a haste creature, maybe a couple of haste creatures. I don't think they're going to get Maelstrom Wanderer out straight away. How much does it cost? Five, six, seven, eight. That's two, four, six. Uh, mana Crypt would do it. And it does have haste. It doesn't have any kind of evasion, though. So, creatures can't be countered. That's fine. We do have a little bit of counter magic in this deck. I think we have uh, counter spell and mana drain. So that Gaius Herald might be relevant. But looks like we are definitely going to get this is limit break here. Always yield to the mana crypt. Tails never fails. Proof of which is in the pudding. And okay, I think we'll get the ultimate down first. Then play Tatyova. Cast. Yes. and then get to draw two cards from playing an island. Going to always yes, actually tell a lie. I don't like to always yes to card draw because our opponent might get um, Consecrated Sphinx out. Yeah, shame we don't have Azusa out, we could have played these lands. Uh, but yeah, this is really what we want to do with the deck. We want to get Tatyova out as soon as possible and then start playing lands. Uh, thankfully with Nissa's Vital Force um, the Nissa Vital Force emblem, uh, we can effectively have a, a, an unlimited, unkillable Tatyova in play uh, for the rest of this game. My opponent's going to Cascade with Maelstrom Wanderer into Woodland Bellower. That's a very good card to Cascade into. Most of the time, I just grab a Reclamation Sage with this. See what our opponent grabs. 
Yep, Reclamation Sage probably going for, in fact, the only target is Mana Crypt there. At least saves us getting Lightning Bolted, so. And Oracle of Moldaya, so more ramp. So this is what Maelstrom Wanderer can do so well. Is ramp like crazy into Maelstrom Wanderer, and then if you kill Maelstrom Wanderer, it's probably ramped enough to just be played again and gains incremental advantage like that. Um, yeah, swinging in with these, I am just going to let these through. Um, what we really want to do is get something like Imprisoned in the Moon, or what's the other one? Song of the Dryads. Could really do with those. Um, what I might just do is play uh, Nizal, Primal Tide, um, because it can block the Maelstrom Wanderer very well. Or better yet, we could draw into Royal Elemental and just take Maelstrom Wanderer from our opponent there. So, unfortunately, we don't have the mana to do that, which is why it was so good killing the Mana Crypt. Hmm. So what we could do instead is play Azusa and get some card draw on the go. And are we going to draw into anything that's double blue? I'll tap another forest because we have a forest in play. And hopefully our opponent lets this resolve and doesn't force of will or something like that. Okay, get to draw two cards off of this. Active negation is not terrible, although we can't counter any creatures with it. Yes to that. Alright, and uh, yes, I think what we can do here is nature's law. Oh, tell a lie, we can actually play another land. That will give us five mana. Yeah, I think we Nature's Law get a Tropical Island here. Draw two more cards. And this is really what Tatyova wants to be doing. Uh, it's, mm. Yeah, I yeah, all we can do here really is play Cultivate and just draw into even more cards. Good to have the Windswept Teeth there with Crucible of Worlds. I don't know how likely we are to survive until next turn, um, but we're at least not going to die to Commander Damage unless our opponent gets Double Strike or something like that. Uh, go for an island and a forest here. So even spells like Cultivate uh, trigger Tatyova and Nyssa here uh, because it's lands entering the battlefield, it's not just and Primeval Titan, we could get a Maze of Ith or something like that. Yeah, we might might survive this game yet. Not going to bother swinging into our opponent just in case we want to chump with Tatyova. And as for what we are putting into the graveyard, how many do we need to do? Uh, we can definitely get rid of Windswept. Uh, in fact, we can get, if we play Crucible next turn, we can just play all these lands. So, one more card in the graveyard. Hmm. Tempting to do Pact of Negation, but... Mm. Because we can't counter creature spells, I don't think we want to do that. Court of Calling, I really don't like to discard there. Um, but Pact of Negation will, will get rid of something like uh, giving Maelstrom Wander a double strike. Which would kill us with commander damage. So, I really don't want to... Mana Crypt is fine. Really don't want to pitch the uh, 
the pact of negation into the graveyard there just in case. Vendor of Zendikar cannot be countered. And we just need to hope against our hopes that our opponent can't cast, uh, can't play a lot of lands. Always going to yield to Avenger of Zendikar there. Luckily, they don't have an Azusa out. And I need to decide if I want to chump with Azusa or not. If I get Crucible of Worlds out next turn, I can play a lot of lands from the graveyard. Could even play the Windswept Teeth a bunch of times. What's this? At the beginning of your upkeep, return a creature you control to its owner's hand. That's fine. We can't do anything about that anyway. So I think... Oh, creatures have haste. I always forget about that with Maelstrom Wanderer. It gives creatures you control haste. Alright, uh, we need to work out if we need to chump here. I assume we do. 7, 13, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, with just those and this. I think, I think that's us done. Hmm, I think so. I'll just block the two biggest creatures and hope that we survive. I think we're done though. No, down to one, so it was worth uh, worth not giving up there. Alright, so that ancient tomb is largely useless to us. Hmm, what to do? I think we just need to get card draw on the go, to be honest. Because we really just need to draw into a board wipe, but by the time we've spent mana to get lands on the field, let's just play the Ancient Tomb and see what we draw into. Gush, okay. Uh, hmm. Problem is, you go down two mana. We could always we could tap two lands. And then return the two islands to draw two cards. Gush allows you to draw two cards at instant speed. Um, you can return two islands you control to your hand rather than pay the mana cost. We drew into absolutely nothing there. Uh, yeah, I think I think we're done here. Always worth playing Prophet of Crucifix. Uh, we can't play any more lands apart from with the Crucible. But we can't play any more lands this turn anyway. So I think that's us done. But I'm going out on my own terms. <laughs> GG to our opponent. They were just too fast for us there. Uh, Maelstrom Wanderer, that's just what Maelstrom Wanderer wants to do is outpace their opponents, only turn 6, and they have smashed us to pieces.